all right so welcome back welcome back to the channel my name is Satson. in today's video i want to show you how you can place a button like this one onto your own videos but before i get into that i just want to remind you to hit that subscribe button leave a like leave a comment and that will go a long way to help this channel to grow and so without much further ado let's jump into our tutorial all right so i'll also leave a link in the description of the button that i'll be using in this video you don't have to worry about copyright issues i actually made it myself and i'm availing it to you guys just remember to hit that subscribe button to support my work all right so right here we are in davinci resolve and so we're going to create a new project so i'll hit on new project right here and i'll name it subscribe name it, you can name it whatever you want and then hit on create and this will take us to this page right here so inside here what we want to do is i want to go onto the edit page inside the edit page i want to go to this media pool right click right here and then import media what we want to import is this video right here which i'll leave a link in the description uh, which is going to be our button so i'll open this and then i'll change right here i'll drag this and drop it right here so that you can see this is our button it's an automated button and that's what we're going to be using and so we need another video where we're going to place this button on so i will import media again i'll use one of the videos that i used in my past video so this one right here open that and i'll bring it in as well right the next thing we need to do is we want to create a timeline so i'll right click right here it says create new timeline using selected clips and then i'll hit create and we can see we have our video right here the next thing we need to do is we need to drag this video with the button drag it in here and drop it right there all right so with this one dropped right there you can see if i play this we cannot see the video behind right we can only see that green screen and uh, subscribe button we want to remove that green screen so right here we want to be able to remove this green screen for us to be able to remove that green screen all we need to do is we want to go to effects effects right here and then go to open effects down here you can see open effects and then we want to search for key and you can see we have 3d key this is the effect that we want to use we want to grab and drag it on top of this button and let go our videos are layered and this is the video with the subscribe button this is the one that we want to remove the background of and then we select it and then we go up here we go to inspector make sure inspector is selected and then you go to effects right there and you can see we have 3d kia right there and so what we want to do is make sure you come on this timeline viewer currently this is the timeline viewer you can see on the bottom left there's an arrow right here i want you to click on that arrow and then go down to open fx overlay so click on that and you'll see it will be the one selected right here after you finish doing that you want to move over to the 3d key make sure you still have your button selected down here and then you go to this thing right here it's called pick and so you want to click on the pick and then move and click inside here on the green background so if i click on the green background boom you see that magic that green background is gone you might still have some kind of green edges on your button the way you can solve that is by moving down so you want to scroll up and then you get to this dispute and then you adjust this you have to customize this to your own liking and so once you finish that then we have our video and our subscribe button you can see right now boom you can see there you go perfect you might want to minimize the size of this button you can come down here in the timeline select the button and then again go back to video and then now we are dealing with our zoom on the transform zoom and then you can reduce the size of the button there we go and we can also change the position by changing this position here the x-axis the y-axis right there we might want our button right by the corner there and we can still do that we could also place this at the end of our video so we can select button layer and then we hold out on our keyboard and then click and drag that's going to duplicate this thing and once duplicated now you can play and see it's going to be the intro and it's also going to be the outro so you can see right there boom it shows up again 
and we are good to go. All right, so I hope that was informative. That was also helpful. If you find these videos helpful, consider subscribing to the channel. I hope to see you in my next tutorial. For now, I'm out. Bye-bye.